On, 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 yeah, on. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, it's a nice walleye. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh! We're back at my happy place, West Coast RV and Auto. Today we have an RV and we have Daniel Steg. And we're embarking on the biggest road trip either of us have ever been on. Who knows what we're gonna catch? You might be wondering, well, are you shore fishing the whole time? We are gonna do some shore fishing, but we do have a second vehicle. Cameron Brandon has a bunch of Old Town kayaks. We're two in Manitoba with an RV, with some kayaks, with Daniel Steg. The adventure starts now. my first time towing a big trailer. I honestly can't even tell that I'm towing with this truck, which is pretty impressive. Burns a little more gas, but anyway, stopped at Subway. We were 1.5 hours, two hours from our destination of Mississippi campground. Some campgrounds are closing already at this time of year. It's early October, but it's nice because we didn't really have to look ahead. I got nothing to say. <laughs> We are at Mississippi Campground. It's been a couple years since I've been back, but now I'm gonna to attempt to back up a 27 foot trailer. And if I crash, hopefully West Coast Trivia's insurance. Fight the spot. I can't see you anymore. <laughs> yeah, Looks like... in the other mirror. Oh, there you are. <laughs> the campground is empty. That's the beauty of camping in the fall. Look at the spot. All right, this is a pretty sweet spot. 40 bucks a night with water. And Wi-Fi? And Wi-Fi apparently. I might be an RV person after this. Stabilizer. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> no, I just heard a noise. <laughs> We're gonna give you guys the full tour, but we're gonna go to Lake of the Prairies and chum for some carp. I haven't carp fished in a while and I'm reliving some memories of a red chair swing. Daniel said I could put duct tape on him. Okay, should we roll? Welcome to the beach. Well, I think what we're gonna do today, since I can't throw the corn far enough, we're gonna get the Old Town kayak and strap. I'm gonna just go out by myself and throw a bunch of corn out and this is where we're gonna come fish tomorrow. This is a very, very fishy lake. Big walleye tournament happens here. The biggest carp in Manitoba, as far as from what I've seen. Big walleyes, big pike. But we're seeing bait dimpling everywhere. Oh. Huh. Yeah, help, yeah, yeah, help out. <laughs> <laughs> Like taking off on plane right there. Realistic long cast. A little bit further than this? Yeah. What are you seeing in the finder there? Beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. Lots of carp. May as well cast out for a little bit and see. There's always that excitement the first night where you're not getting things rigged up properly. You're scrambling at a line out. Feel like a kid all again, Daniel. Brandon's gonna do some fishing too. Brandon's never caught a carp before. Daniel's never targeted carp before. You know what they say, it's not the destination. It's not the journey, it's the company. I just saw a big carp surface really? right there, dude. Actually? Like legit, like full on breached whale. How and then out? like, uh, I was probably double of what you put the corn. In. <laughs> well, they're coming in. <laughs> they're coming in, they're moving in and they're, uh, what do we call uh, schools of carp pods? Uh, yeah, with carptivity. So we got your basic slip sinker rig. We got a little walking sinker. This is a, what does this even say? Three eighth ounce, three quarter ounce, 10 pound fluoro. And then we will rig up hair rigs tomorrow, but we're kind of in a rush. Teach you all about hair rigs, but just a bunch of kernels of corn on an octopus hook. Now we're gonna cast out as far as we possibly can. You, you said you want me to cast just for 
maximum yeah. distance. Sure. Oh boys, this is good. We did it. We're here. Camp is set. Just get to relax. Oh yeah. So do carp have teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Corn is being corn on the bottom of the lake. Corn in. Catch him in the daylight tomorrow. We'll be back. Sunrise fog. Beautiful sunrise over the hills. Oh, fired up. Welcome. We're gonna give you the full tour tomorrow morning yet, but we're making nachos. Well, Daniel requested nachos, and I said, "How much?" And he said, "As much as you have." A lot of nachos going in tonight. I got nothing against camping, but like not having to worry about bugs and sand and I could get used to this. Like <laughs> this is like luxury to the finest. Tell me when to stop, Daniel. This is like Olive Garden. <laughs> Just say when. <laughs> when. <laughs> Welcome to Jay's Kitchen. Brought to you by West Coast RV and Team Fui. I was, you can just grab one. The <laughs> one with nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> we got nachos. We'll go there first thing in the morning and get ready for battle. Woo! Do you want bacon too or just coffee? I think just coffee. We run on just coffee. Well, this, this camper is pretty cozy. This is the first time I think, maybe one of the first times since Hannah was born that I slept in past eight o'clock, so don't tell Sam, but Hearing the rain come down, it was, it was pretty cozy, but uh, this this is pretty sweet. A lot of room. There's the master bedroom over there we'll show you. Brandon slept on the pull-out futon type deal, and then there's bunk beds back here, but I think we're gonna go fishing. Power through the rain. I've been to quite a few fishing lodges in Manitoba, but I haven't really sampled the campground, so this is maybe the first of many if I become an RV guy, but uh, it's a pretty sweet spot. So this is the Shell River. This flows into Lake of the Prairies. There's a little fish way up here and a sweet little lookout spot. Obviously the water's low now being fall, but pretty spot. I think in there there's a little deep hole and we fished there during 39 hours or pre-fished at least. When people think of Manitoba, they think of flat. But here in the west, there are some hills. There's Assisipi Ski Hill. This is Assisipi Beach and Campground, but there's the ski hill. Just around the corner here and it's, yeah, the premier skiing, snowboarding spot in Manitoba. But uh, it'd be pretty cool to float this river as well with the, with the kayaks, but save that for another time. She's secure. The prowler will stay, but we will go. Let's go do this. I like that size hook. Oh, that one's, yeah, I like that hook a lot. We're fishing memories today. We might have mentioned it before. Filmed a show here with Aaron Wee, Brian Ginter, a few years back. So I learned a lot about carp fishing. Just reliving some memories. I hadn't carp fished in about 10 years. I think it is 10 years to the month, maybe to the day. I think that'll work. That looks pretty carpy, pretty European. So you think a little to the right. I lost some corn there. On, 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 yeah, on. Come on. On, on, nice. on, on. <laughs> First carp baby, Manitoba, Lake of the Prairies. The RV road trip begins with Daniel Stegg. <laughs> oh, that's good. Run, just run. Oh, I'm happy. There is too many carp surfacing for this not to happen. That's eight pound braid. I know, that's, <laughs> that's why I'm playing with the drag so much. What? It's rubbing on something. No. Oh, whatever it was. It must have been wrapped around a log. I've never seen someone touch the drag so much. <laughs> I don't know why my heart's pounding. Why is my heart pounding so much? Is that okay if I go over here? You guys Wherever chasing you me? To. Come on. <laughs> hey! Well, that's not bad. Look at that. That's a good start. Man, they're fat. What are the odds Daniel loses this fish? Pretty high. But I'm doing everything. Good job, buddy. Look at that carp. Hey. People in Europe go crazy for these, and I don't think people in Manitoba realize what's in their backyard. That's a Manitoba Master Angler right there, first one. <laughs> it's just that easy, 31. 
30 and a half. My boy Daniel's a master angler. Maybe it'll be a 40 incher one day, buddy. Okay, buddy. Go ahead. Oh man, I think we're gonna have some fun. Nice. When he did pick it up, I was like, was that a wave hitting my line or was that him? Gave him a little bit of slack and he just started swimming away and didn't even set the hook, just tightened just the line. Into him. All right, this is the rig, the bolt rig. So basically the weight doesn't slide, it stays fixed. I got a three-way swivel. I think this is a one ounce pyramid weight. I'm using a lighter test line down here so it can break off of a fish and eggs. A 17 pound main line and then a little octopus hook with a big old chunk of corn on the hair rig. I'll bomb this baby out. All right, if you wanna, I don't know if you wanna move the camera a little further back and then hold on to this one, Brandon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. Ooh. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Fish on, fish on. I think Mike, Mike and Callie just showed up. No. Nothing Pretend going on nothing here. going on here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing going on here. See a big old shark fin over there. Can you hear this? Screaming right now. This is insane. Oh baby, the guy was screaming. He just went for like a five kilometer jaunt down the lake. Look at the weight. Look at this guy wearing shorts. Look at how far he is behind the weight. Okay, he's right here, right here, but he might take off again. Oh, that's pretty big. Oh no, oh no. Oh. <laughs> yes. So we're using small hooks. Little octopus is probably size one. Barbless. I'll say 33, 32. So cool. It seems like there's just endless amounts of carp out in front of us. And today's a good day for shore fishing. Another 31 no, inch. No, that's yeah. only a half an inch bigger. Maybe, yeah, same 31. This is quite the morning. Bye, buddy. Back to the depths. We're probably fishing 10 to 15 feet. We might throw the live scope out there to see, but people are always like, you need so much gear to fish. Well, no, it just depends on what you choose. Here, we're shore fishing with a can of corn. You can make it real basic. How much does that rig cost yeah. in reality? A weight is 50 cents, a hook, some corn, under two bucks you're fishing. Yeah, that's sweet. So, you know, we were using the fancy rigging there before. You can also just thread it on the hook. It's fun to get fancy, but just load up a hook with some corn. So his is the sliding rig which works too, I don't know. I don't think these are pressured carp. You go to Europe and there's lakes that are just, the fish are so smart here, I think they're pretty dumb. If you do wanna see some crazy carp rigging, check out Ryan Ginter. He's got some good videos online and he catches giants. He's got the first and second biggest recorded carp out of the lake. We're carp fishing in the rain. Mike and Callie showed up. They're not mic'd up, but his name is Mike. So he's always mic'd up. Oh. -dum what? The old carp session. The campaign, we'll call it. Oh, something. Oh, there's one. Fish on, baby! Whoa! 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 whoa. I'm just gonna reel oh. in. Cause you're that feels big. Does that count as kayak fishing? I haven't stopped it. It's just going out to the bridge. Stuff here. We're using pretty much walleye rods. I know there's lots of specialized carp gear, and I, I would like to get some. But this is a seven foot medium light Daiwa cage with a 2500 Daiwa Pro Procyon, I think it's pronounced. I grew up fishing for carp in the Altona nature pond. Really? Like 15 inch carp. That's what I did more of than anything. And now here we are 40 years later. <laughs> like the prairies. This fish is right by me. Yeah, that's pretty big. I'll just start walking him backwards. Nice. Ooh, that's a big boy. Ooh, that's a big boy. Wow, that might, that's the biggest one yet. Hook's gone, don't even know where it went. Look at this beast. Beast of a Manitoba carp. The RV road trip's off to a good start. Boys and girls, I'm shaking. Oh man, those big lips on that baby. 32. Wow, day made. That's it. Let's go back to the camper. Let's We're go done. home. We're done. We're going home.
So I took a hook and just bent it. I should have bent it even more straight, but it's not perfect. I'm just threading corn on and the barb is what you need. So you need to keep this hook barbed, but this is just a, th a threading needle, a bait needle of sorts. And then you've got that loop on the back of the hook there. See that loop? So I'm gonna hold it taut. I'm gonna hook the barb onto that loop. So now it's on there, but I got that little, can you see that little tip of the loop there? So I'm gonna plug that with a little stick. I mean, you can buy a little store made things, but this is another Aaron Weeb trick. I got, I owe lots to Mr. Weeb. I've learned lots from him and he's brought me fishing with a bunch of amazing fishermen and you pick things up. That's why you fish with people. So right there, the carp sucks it in, gets the hook, tries to spit it out, feels that weight and just pandemonium. So I'm just like, I can kind of feel how long it takes to sink how deep it is. And this is just from doing it a bunch, but I mean, I'm guessing we're around like 15 feet deep out there. So I'm just holding this on a taut line and that fish just picks it up and starts moving. Like he's already pretty much hooked at that point. You don't need to do a big hook set with it. The, they have such soft mouths. It's something about carp, like some of the softest mouth tissue. So you just start reeling and the fish is hooked. Mike's never caught a carp. Callie's never caught a carp. So this is your first time actually targeting carp, Daniel? Oh, hundred percent. Should have brought the RV right here. Had the awning be barbecuing, tunes blasting, little coffee brewing. Thank you. <laughs> that fish just slammed it, just crushed. You can't let this one go, dude. <laughs> now he's stuck in this muck again. I gotta get out there. I gotta go swim for him. Oh no. Oh, oh, he's in a log. I might actually hop in the kayak. How quick can we clear it out? I think I think he has to swam into a log. <laughs> so he's just putting the motor down. Hopefully he can get out there. I can feel him in a log. <laughs> that, that kayak could turn on a dime, eh? You could say he's vertical jigging a carp right now. Oh, he just came off, he just came off. He's right under me. Oh my gosh. He's out of the log, that worked perfect. Oh, no, this is chaos. I felt him come out of the log. She's in the shore, she's into Mike's line. He's pulling the kayak. I'm just coming into shore, it's pretty big. Oh geez, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, there we go, nice job, nice job. That Mike. might be longer, I don't know. Good teamwork. I know that looks staged with the kayak, but as soon as I got vertical on it, it popped out of the log. We didn't know if we were gonna use the kayak for chumming today, but there are some logs apparently. Wow, that's probably as heavy as the other one. Look at those, those little whiskers are called barbels and that's how they can smell and that's how they uh, find the bait on the bottom. You wanna slide that bump board over to me? We'll see. Yeah, 32 and a half. I don't know what to say, that was fun, that was fun. It's always the crazy moments that make the best memories, you know? Lines getting tangled, carp getting ran into logs. Good thing I was sitting in it, that worked out good. This is a little three-way swivel versus the old uh, slip sinker. Showdown. Imagine, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just put that down. That was just screaming. Oh, oh no, 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 no. No. Heartbreaker. You on, Callie? Oh, wow, it's right there. What is that? Get him, Daniel. <laughs> nice. Through my legs. <laughs> well, Jay got slack line and then all of a sudden bam just went for a wicked run and now i think we're wrapped up in a log i'm so close i think we got her now she's moving Ooh, that's pretty big that looks like a big girl wow wow that's a tank if i got a replica of a carpet it might be this guy right here 31 oh prairie giant Wow. Oh, oh, that fish just killed it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the same log every time. Thank you, Daniel. Send me free. I think she might be out. Look at this. Can he do it? Oh gosh. Right there, right there. 
they're all big. 29, the kayak has come in handy more than I expected beyond just chumming. And I think the chum from yesterday paid off. Chumming, these fish have such good sense of smell. I love just watching them waddle out there. This day has been made. I think it's only like one o'clock and this has been spectacular. Just need to get Brandon one and Mike one. I, so there's some ledge out here and there's a lot of debris. I think it's just a, a little sand flat that comes out and then it drops down. I'm casting way past it. But yeah, there's lots of sticks, debris, and I think the carp just keep getting hooked on that ledge. So um, that wasn't a super long fight. So, so good, so good. Should see what I got for master carp if, if I have my specialist. I feel like I must. Oh, I need one more carp for my specialist. Well, I mean, I had one and I got three. So I need one more today. Okay, well now I'm serious, boys, girls. I only had one master carp entered and I've got three today, so I need one more. Whoo, my heart's pounding all of a sudden. Knees are weak. Five trophies of the same species, you're a spe specialist. You get a pin, eternal glory. Just kidding. I think the key is holding your rod, Mike. I said I think the key is holding your rod. Still having fun? Your feet are pink, Mike. That's not healthy. They're changing color. You're crazy. I can't imagine being in shorts right now. This is it. This is the one. Mike's on! He's on, he said it! He's like, this is the cast. Oh no! No! You're trying to mess it up for him. Oh, oh yeah, all day. All day, baby. 31 and a half. <laughs> Mike's first carp and it's a trophy. Boom. Might pull the truck up soon and just put the rod in the rod holder. It might be off the edge. It might be off the ledge right now. We're not sure if it's going to make it over the ledge. So far, so good. Hey, we gotta go. <laughs> oh. It's a giant. That was madness! Wow. Look at that thing! <laughs> oh! Wow. Once again got stuck on the edge and the kayak came through. I don't know, we might have made it eventually, but 33 and 3 quarters. That is an absolute giant. Sorry? I meant your specialist. Oh, this is my specialist, number five, baby! Number five, baby. That was my fifth. I probably caught more than five trophy carp because I know we caught a couple here years ago, but uh, once I looked up in the book, I was like, okay, we need to, I need to get four today. Once I had three, so that was the fourth, four in one day, crazy. The kayak was kind of just there for chumming and it came in way more useful than I expected. So pretty neat. I mean, obviously shore fishing is the easiest way to set your bait, to detect the bites, compared to bobbing around on the kayak in a situation like this, but that worked absolutely perfect. And that is the perfect way to end the day. And we're gonna head back to the RV, reminisce, dry off, eat some food and plan part two of our adventure. Thanks to West Coast RV, Team Fui, Hunt Fish MB for all making this possible. That's all I got.